Hey, welcome to Unknowns. Today we are going to look into how to construct a phylogram in molecular evolutionary genetic structure. See, phylograms are pictorial representation of similarity and variation among the DNA sequences. It is very much difficult to just observe thousands of base pairs of DNA sequence in a notepad file or in a text format to compare and understand their uh, similarity and variation. But in phylograms, we can do that very easily. So in this video of unknowns, we are going to know how to draw a phylogram using the uh, software. I have also given the link of this text that I'm going to explain how to draw a phylogram. The, along with the video, you are very much welcome to visit the uh, ResearchGate website to know the text. So where to download the software? This is a site to download your mega software. Mega is a molecular evolutionary software that can be used for uh, drawing your phylogram. Mega can do millions of analysis actually. Drawing a phylogram, finding, finding evolution resistance, calculating genetic distance, genetic uh, molecular classification, much more can be done. But in this uh, episode or in this uh, video, we are going to talk about the phylogram. Before drawing a phylogram, we have to do the multiple sequence. Okay. So, how to import? This will be the, you know, I'm using cluster here, cluster X 2.0 to draw this uh, sequence. What are the sequences you have? You have to have them uh, uh, notepad file in the first of one. It can be imported into, um, imported to the cluster and uh, we have to do the multiple sequence of energy. So I'm going directly into Mega here. When you open the software, this is how it looks, Mega. And uh, I'm clicking here, File. And I'm going to open Editor Build Alignment. Remember, I have a multiple sequence aligned uh, output file in my folder. Okay. So I'm going for Edit and Build Alignment. If you guys want how to, do, how to use this, give a separate video. How to get a master file? I can give a separate file. So here, uh, select editor built alignment. Then this window will be popping up. Create a new alignment. From there, it will be a self question mark. It will be DNA or protein sequence. If you click DNA, then the blank uh, page will be open. I would appreciate if you can run the video parallelly along with your software to have a live uh, So. In this blank uh, file, go to data. Okay. Or you can simply select the multiple sequence file from the folder, drag and drop it. When you drag and drop it, there will be a first key. Say you can correct it as a blank line. So you can click no. Say this one year. Once you click no, that multiple sequence file will be imported into the uh, blank page. Okay. So select all. Before going for uh, phylogenetic analysis, we have to trim the you know empty blank spaces. We, we are supposed to use only hypervariable for the phylogenetic analysis. So I'm selecting the region. I'm going to use muscle software. Here you can see uh, muscle that usually do faster alignment than crystal. Yeah, crystal. So I would I'm using muscle, clicking after selecting all the sequences, clicking muscle, align DNA. After uh, clicking align, I think alignment is there. Now I'm going to scroll to the extreme of both the ends to check whether still any it is there. Again, I will trim it. Once you are finding no blank sequences before the first star in the alignment, and after the last star, you can go import, transfer the file to phylogenetic. So here, data, phylogenetic analysis. Now it will ask whether it is a protein sequence. It's not protein sequence, I will click no. Then the data is important. Here, we can click phylogeny. And in phylogeny, transcribe neighbor genetic. I usually draw NJT. Once you click NJT, there is a question if you are using active data. Using the active data. Here is a pop up of uh, default values. I usually click the start button to evaluate each and every node of the Then click OK. 
territory. Here actually I have used ITSC concept of fungi to learn the tree. As I said, phylogenetic tree are classical representation of similarity in the body of the tree. I know NCT 364, which is my sequence of the text by this aspect of the phenomenon because it has varied in the same manner. See here, NCT 357 is a specular stream because they are planted. I would say you can observe any phylogram from left hand side to right hand side. This phylogram started with the two branches to make branches, which further subdivided into two branches. So branches usually represent no similar sequences as clustered in the same So that's how you draw a phylogram. Uh, here is a bootstrap values. Usually bootstrap values will be drawn Actually, any value more than 70 is considered a safety booster. Meaning, uh, the reliability of branching pattern is pretty much like 100%. Uh, they can be fully reliable. And many more things can be done if you want to highlight your sequence. Use to construct. Thank you for joining. Unknown. Enjoy learning.